The introduction to HTML forms. Forms are part of everyday life when you use a physical form in real life. Write down information and give it to someone to process. Think of the times you had to fill out information for various applications like a job or a bank account or dropped in a completed suggestion card. Each instance is a form, but just like a physical form, an HTML form element is responsible for collecting information to send someone else. Every time we browse the internet, we come into contact with many forms and might not even realise it. There's a good chance that if you're typing into a text field or providing an input, the field that you're typing into is part of a form. In this lesson, we'll go over the structure and syntax of a form and the many elements that populate it. Look over the image. Can you, can you think of any other form you've interacted with? Go to the next exercise when you're ready. Aye, right, lottery, you fill in your password. Gmail, and you fill in your password, blah, blah, blah. How a form works. We can think of the internet as a network of computers which sends and receives information. Computers need an HTML hypertext transfer protocol request to know how to communicate. The hypertext transfer protocol request instructs the receiving computer how to handle the incoming information. More information can be found in the article HT hypertext transfer protocol request. The form element is a great tool for collecting information but then we need to send that information somewhere else for processing. We need to supply the form element with both the location of where the form information goes and at what hypertext transfer protocol request to make. Take a look at the sample form below. Form action equals example.html method equals post. In the above example we've created a skeleton form that will send information to example.html as a post request. The action attribute determines where the information is sent. The method attribute is assigned a hypertext transfer protocol verb that is included in a hypertext transfer protocol request. Note that hypertext transfer protocol verbs like post do not need to be capitalised for the request to work, but it's done so out of convention. In the example above, we could have written method equals post and it would still work. The form element can also contain child elements, for instance, it would be helpful to provide a header so that users know what this form is about. You can also add a paragraph to provide even more detail. Let's see an example of this code. So form action equals example.html, inverted commas, method equals post, creating a form. Looks like you want to learn how to create an HTML form. Well, the best way to learn is to play around with it. Closing form tag. The example above doesn't collect any information the user inputs, but we'll do that in the next session. For example, let's practice making the foundation of an HTML form. In the section element, add a form element under the provided comment, assign the form with an action attribute with a value of practice.html and a method of post. Right, so in the section element, Yeah. Right in the session element. Or the forum element. We are closing form tag. So right, form so action send to dot forward slash practice dot html and then method equals post right now we have a blank form on a burger site let's add some context Context. Add an H1 inside the form element with the text related to the site between the open and closing H1 tags. So it's make sure you're adding the H1 element inside the form. Should render some text to the page. So inside the form, we need that H1. Closing each one. 